<coughs> Newcastle are shit. But you know, like the one thing about Newcastle, they're shit at the minute. Alan St. Maximin. This man has been single handedly kind of carrying them at the minute. He goes uninjured. Now, he could very well keep them up there next season. It's almost like Alan St. Maximin's the only player showing up for Newcastle. Imagine if there were 11 St. Maximins on the same pitch. So, uh, the team sheet looking very promising, as you can very clearly see. I'm not really sure what the 17 rated goalkeeper. We we're talking about the Premier League if we're going to do a sim. It this is the same division that has Kepa, Pickford, and De Gea. So it can't be that bad. So it's jumping into this little expedition match. Uh, expedition match isn't even called that anymore. I don't even know if it ever was. That's before my time anyway. But we're just going to be playing Sunderland. So it just kind of got that kind of Derby Day sort of feeling. Because uh, I just think it... I mean, it is a League One side. So it bounced um, one of the biggest rivalries in England. Now let's see if Alain St. Maximin, the man himself, can completely dismantle the Black Hats. Your, your, your Netflix stock ranchers wank anyway. Uh, let's face it. Ooh, so you take a look at the lineup. Looks like we're going for the four four two. You got a back line of Alan Saint Maximin. You got Alan Maximin, Saint Maximin, um, on the wings in the center of the park as well. And the second partnership will be Alan Saint Maximin and Alan Saint Maximin. Substitutes will be Alan Saint Maximin, 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 and Alan Saint Maximin. I promise it won't be this annoying for the whole video. Actually, no promises. I'm just gen generally an annoying person. What a stadium, St. James's Park. Qu quite big. L lots of fans to show this absolute showing as Alain St. Maximin kicks it off. So, yeah, I think as long as we just have the ball in our possession and we stay on the attack, we're good. Because if they get a counterattack, and even worse, a shot on target, we might be a little fucked. Not gonna lie. Lots of pace. I think 94 pace, I believe. Player to watch is St. Maximin, um, to be aware. We got an option down the wing. He's in. Finesh shot. Surely. Oh, not quite. Just off target, but um, it, it's okay. We're showing. We, I mean, I think we can just absolutely just like waltz through these Sunderland defenders, because we just need to get the pace and the sh wings and the striker, and we're in. Quite an elegant tackle, I must say so myself. Really, really got it covered. Really marked his ground. Let's go run. Show me your flare, Alan. He's in the box. Same max ready. He's in. Oh no, not quite. Not quite. It, it, it's okay. We're getting these chances in. I mean, we know St. Maximin has gone for Sunderland on Twitter in the past, but here it is, just really just proving it on the pitch. Oh, come on. He saw the pass. He's in. St. Maximin is it this time. Top right corner. St. Maximin has single-handedly dismantled Sunderland, the man with Newcastle on his back, and he only does it again. Toon Army is absolutely loving it. You got the whole Toon Army drinking Duce, and they are just absolutely loving it over their bitter, bitter rivals. Um, Sunderland probably a bit bitter because they've spent the last few years in League One. I want this to be a high-scoring game, and, like, I want to get loads of goals, because we can't, because you realize if we do concede a shot on target, we're probably going to concede. It's like, and if you tell me you've never played an outfield player in goal, you're just lying, like, with your mates or something, but it, with the kind of cheat engine, it just kind of shows how shit they are in goal. 17 rated. Oh, and he's made a catch. Brilliant catch. Was that a Danish catch? Was that a little Casper Schmeichel action there? Maybe it was. I'm not going to play a replay because I don't want to get proven wrong. So then really don't have many players for it. Just need to get one of those through balls up that we love. We only had 39% of the possession. Well, I've been distracted by statistics. I'm like any 12-year-old Ronaldo fanboy. He sends it up. Z Maximin with it. Oh, will I get the rebound? And he will. Newcastle 2, Sunderland nil. The kickoff podcasts are going absolutely mental. Will and E is absolutely loving it. As they do get two. We do get two over a very, very bitter rival. Z Maximin for his third. Technically, it's a hat trick. No matter how many players he gets it. And he does. Z Maximin scored three goals. I'm calling it as a hat trick. I don't give a shit. Through well played up. No through well played up. No through, well played up. With it, will he get the finish? He will. A lovely roll into the 4 0 corner. It's an absolutely pouncing Newcastle 4, Sunderland 0. Why would they base their club? Is are, Black Hats are unlucky, right? Is that like a. I'm, I'm not like superstitious, but traditionally, aren't Black Hats and they base their club off of it? You're just, you're just asking for the ASM curse, really. Sunderland have not had a single shot on target, which is very ideal. Which is what we've been. That tackle, however, not not really ideal. Not not even allowed to use the word ideal in the next 10 minutes because of that single tackle. Off. He's made a save. Okay, they do get the rebound. They, but it was a, not a terrible reaction. It's offside. Oh, you absolute idiots. It's, it's not offside. St. Maximin's skill run. Someone ordered St. Maximin's skill run? No, they didn't. They didn't. Got a free kick. David Beckham esque. Bend it. Why well, it like. Bend it like Beckham when you can bend it like Alan. Time it right. Oh, it's yellow. And it was kind of a shit to begin with. Hence why I didn't go in. St. Maximin. St. Maximin with it, still staying with it. I say it like it's a surprise. Of course St. Maximin's going to be on the ball. 
See Maximin on the wing. Got 11 fucking men on the pitch. Better all him. The Mixie, if you're watching this, remix. When's the Kiwi remix coming? Come on, it's what the people want. St. Maximin. 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 Is he related to Ben Arthur? We don't know yet for sure. But certainly, the Black Hats are not going to purr. 5-1 to Newcastle. You like that? I came up with that during halftime. I just paused and sat. It's me sitting there thinking of that lovely... Is it a pun? Is it just a bit of wit? But Shakespeare has been quite quiet after I've said that. Another brilliant save. Just absolutely clawing it out like that. It's actually the keeper's one solid. The goal that conceded wasn't his fault. It was just Schoenbach defending. The 17 rated keeper has exceeded my expectations. I'm not going to lie to you a lot. Even though I probably do lie to you a lot. Probably shouldn't have admitted that. Anyway, we score. It doesn't matter if I'm a liar. I'm a liar who has scored their sixth against Newcastle. 6 1 in the 61st minute. You really love to see it. Oh, uh, that's not good. Oh! Again! Wasn't the keeper's fault. The thing is, I think. I think what we need is is a set, some fresh legs. So you actually at the point blank. Oh, it says the keeper dive completely the wrong way. Seven, two. Oh, surely it's an eighth. And it is an eighth. We've just absolutely run right here. Eight, two to the Toon Army, to the Magpies, to Alan St. Maximin. St. Maximin, it's a one, two. Could have been nine, two, but we'll settle with eight. As three goals on the final whistle, and in the ninth, third minute, full time is called. That, that was a kind of weird way to put it. It looked like eight, two. So, so we got the expedition math. We're going to do a career mode sim next. Just see how this team does in a Premier League season. Because it's all fun to kind of um, just absolutely like, just trance over a uh, League One team. But let, let's see how we do in the Premier League. The the cream of the crop. Uh, again, a tad bit worried about the 17 ready keeper. But at the same time, when your competition is literally Jordan Pickford. So here we go. I wasn't aware of these Donnies out on loan. But um, besides that... so. Uh, um, I'm simming as Newcastle, as you can see. I was going to sim as kind of, um, as like another club, because I figured, like, I, I didn't want to just immediately get sacked, and then just, it will be a disaster. But for, I did for the sole reason, um, that person has a hyphen name, apologies, apologies to that. But it's just for the sole reason, so I can just scroll through, and just see literally every player is Lon St. Maximin. Um, except this person, who's just called St. Maximin. Not sure what happened there. So yeah, I think we could score quite a few goals, but we're also going to concede like a shit ton with our 17 ready keeper. Maybe if I sim- Oh no, they won't sign anyone if I sim. So that's the thing about simming neutrally, but I don't know. I, it, it'll be fun. And the thing is, if I do get relegated, it's not, not like Newcastle weren't expecting that anyway. We've beat PSG. Okay, we lost well, but we've beat PSG. A team of a lot- It doesn't matter if it's a preseason friendly, if they were playing some of their reserves. A team of purely Lan St. Maximins defeated Paris Saint Germain, who could very well win the Champions League this year. So, therefore, a Lan St. Maximins is the best footballer in the world. I'm saying it like I'm shocked. I'm not shocked. It's just common knowledge. Now, the rest of you are going to think that. Sure, we, we also lost to some American team, but um, it's the one win that counts. It's, it's, the green's brighter than red. Is that. That sounded better in my head, kind of philosophical on that, but it's really not. Just based off the first result of the season, and after the City game, we do a relatively easy one. I don't know if this is going to be very smooth sailing, not going to lie. It lasted a few months. It was a few solid months, but, um, win the league title! That was the objective. Uh, winning the league was the... <laughs> How went to win the league with the 17 ready keeper this game, this fucking game? Is it because, like, everyone... Because technically everyone was 84 rated, so that would be a top-level Premier League team. But even so, that would be, like, a Wolves-level team. Maybe a little better, but, like, that wouldn't be on the level of, like, Liverpool and City. So here we sent through to the, um, 1st of June number. I am West Brom at the minute because, um, uh, Steve Bruce was giving the sacking. Um, something that just won't happen in real life. So, again, very realistic FIFA. Um, in the inevitable has happened. Six points in the Premier League season. One win and three draws. I saw one of the draws against like Chelsea or something, so that was a bit impressive, but... 21 goals for, 94 goals against. So, I mean, we didn't have like proper midfielders in that, so that's probably why we scored the least amount of goals in the league. And conceded 94. I wasn't expecting much. I, I really wasn't. It's just six points. Is it a surprise we got that? <laughs> just mental, absolutely mental. <laughs> Make Sheffield look good. Yeah, in contrast, Sheffield 28 points. We had 6. 
we were probably relegated in like March, like <laughs> no, probably not March. Like Fulham got so West Brom signed Gold Connor Goldson, but like we could have, we were probably relegated in like January, something like that. I'm not sure our attack sixty seven rated um in the midfield and defense are good, but so pretty much what we're gonna do, we've done the live action, we've done the sim, um, we're just gonna do a CPU. 11 state maximums versus 11 state maximums, just for fun, really, for shits and giggles, because as if this video isn't pointless enough. Player to watch Swan state maximum, I do think he'll have an impact in this game. If someone is to get their name on the score sheet, I reckon it could very well be him. So I, I would just say keep an eye on the lad, really, throughout the entirety of the 90 minutes. This is what I wanted. This is the scene I wanted to see. Just a lot of, just state maximum, just shaking hands with state maximum. Oh, it's just priceless. It's worth like it wasn't it wasn't like difficult it was just kind of time consuming to do this but oh my god it's worth every second it took oh it's absolutely brilliant St. Maximin kicks off gets it rolling back to St. Maximin as we will see what's the battle out it's just gonna be interesting I'm li literally all the same player it's just gonna be random like 50 50 50 chance right like I'm not sure maybe the team wearing black and white are gonna maybe because they're home I'm gonna go for that black and white or sometimes in fifa or the away team favorite i don't know i think because it's a sim it's just neutral I i'm going for the boys in black and white really I it doesn't matter but le le leave your predictions down in the comments um it it's just very pointless at this point i know but that's kind of the point of the video i'll say greens and stripes for the two teams because black and white just a bit of a mouthful because it's going to be exciting lots of long balls lots of long balls i've noticed black and white's on the break brilliant defending from the greens as they do. i feel like what i'm doing like you like when you're eight and you do a scrimmage and like they give up they put all the kids with the red shirts on one team and the ones with gray shirts on the other yeah i feel like that the greens will he cross it in no he won't there's been lots of dribbling this game which could show some really exciting stuff Looks like there's loads of space, loads of shirts, and not quite too many defenders. The greens go very well, be it. He lays it off for the greens. What a shot! Absolutely rifled into the bottom right corner. The 17 rate keeper had absolutely no chance. Maybe it's because the bad goal came made it look better. But nonetheless, the greens are in front off an absolutely lovely goal. Look at the sheer power on that. It, it, that was in slow motion. It, it was a lot faster than in person, but absolutely lovely strike. One little of greens. I want to say Maximin. What did I say? He was going to score, and he did. I, I didn't do any commentary, but... The stripes really just working it by, just really passing by the defenders. That's the thing. They'll pass and do these quick little drills, get by the defenders, and the stripes do equalize. 1 1. Is it just going to be this is back and forth, just end a completely level? Because they are all genuinely the same team. Not even generally the same team. The exact same ability in every position. Well, that would be the same team. The exact same player is what I'm trying to say. Another lovely strike. Uh, not, not really the best goalkeeping. That is one thing. Steve Bruce, who does look about 20 years younger, though. They did get his nose on point, though. Steve Bruce absolutely loving it as St. Maximin gets his second of the game. What, what would that mean? One of them must score an own goal. Can't have 1-1 one, one with one goal score. It's your Mario Mandzukic. Well, remember that in the World Cup Final. Mario Mandzukic became the first player to score for both teams in the World Cup Final. Qu quite quite impressive. He's probably going to tell his grandkids about that. I would. I would definitely do that. So I'm going to have to tell my grandkids about the time I cloned Alon St. Maximin and made him the only player in FIFA. Not the only player in FIFA, but it's what the title's going to be because it'll look like I'm putting more effort. Quite one-sided, really just, really just um, dominant performance of one player, really. Alon's on the ball. I notice they kind of run out, then they cut in, and I've been loving it because when every, all 22 players on the pitch, even the keepers, are uh, able to do that, it's going to call for exciting stuff as it looks like there's a pen. Looks like the Greens have conceded a pen. Stripes are going to take it there. Let's see, maybe just a shimbolic defending. He w didn't have the ability to keep a tidy challenge down. Is it a pen? Is it a pen? Oh, it was a handball, I think. Must have been, yeah. So, handball in the box. I have cr massive opportunity for the stripes. The actual Alain St. Maximin, the captain, the number 10, will be taking it. Will he convert? He probably should, knowing who the keeper is. <coughs> the 17 rated keeper just saved a penalty. I know St. Maximus were down for his penalty taking. I think it might be somewhere in the high 60s or low 70s. But I've scored penalties with this man in an alternate team against real players. And a 17 rated player just saved it. <laughs> what is this game? Nice graphics. I don't know if I've ever seen that angle before. Really nice graphics. Good job, EA. Here we go. The Greens on the attack. We had a bit of a solo run, but they're laying it back. We can get these quick passes and clinical dribbles. We'll look up by. Absolutely let rip. Another brilliant performance. This is like, the, you know the Bayern PSG game? When it was some of like, the best goalkeeping on show from both sides. It's like this. It's an evenly matched game. 1-1. The best players in the world on display. Biggest competition in the world. And just absolutely brilliant goalkeeping. Brilliant defending, really. 
Why is it so dark? Like, can those people see shit? I really don't think they can. See, Max went saying you can't get header on it, but... Is that another penalty? Is that actually another handball? It's just the same team, so the same shit's happening, just at different times. So it looks like Greens will have a penalty. We saw a save on the other side. Will we see a save here? I don't I don't think so, but who knows at this point. This game is just, this game is just cooked. Here we go. Greens do have a chance to get themselves in front, just like how Stripes did not too long ago. Will there be another Yashinesque save? There will not be! He goes, absolutely embarrasses himself on the left-hand side when he elects to go straight down the middle. Really kind of just straightforward, well-disciplined pen, because uh, obviously not like one of the highest rate pen takers in the game. But nonetheless, Greens do get the um, leg in front. Maybe a few tactical changes, throwing a few more players maybe for the second half could be refreshing. Maybe to secure a win for Greens, maybe to get a fighting chance to get Stripes back in this one. All in store, who knows, in the second half of this absolutely lovely game. There we go. We said we would see the quick dribbling and the quick passing. This absolutely catch the entire back line sleeping as stripes do equalize here. St. Max wins 11. St. Max wins 11 as well. Um, maybe a bit too close there, bud. Yep, that, that's great. Cheers. But anyway, stripes do get in front. Look at that. Just caught the froze the entire back line. Get that clinical pass by him. And it's 2 2. We have ourselves a game, lads. Another quickly worked attack from Stripes, as they've got themselves back in this. From 2-1 down, they missed the pen as well, but it doesn't matter the 3-2 up as he's running over to hug Steve Bruce, I think. No, he's just kind of celebrating in front of him. In front of the other manager as well, go out rate the Shittazzeri. But again, you, you do see that kind of diamond shift into a square shape. It does catch him too flat. We see that lad try to kind of trace something back, but it's just not enough for the sheer pace and quality of this. 3-2 to the Stripes. Stripes could really just end it here. It looks like they could, and they do! What a performance from them going to the second half. Just absolutely taking this by a scruff of the neck by the absolute storm. First half, they miss a pen against a 17 ready keeper. Not even missed the frame. He genuinely saved it. And now, very much a two game of two halves. This should be in the dictionary for a game of two halves. Th this. It won't confuse people at all. Definitely not. People are new to the sport, this will not be confusing at all. It's not like it's confusing me and I've been watching it in my entire life. And there we go. It's one of the generic players that don't have a face. But it looks like Green Green will pull him back 4-3 to Stripes now. So we could have ourselves a game. Still 11 minutes left. Very edge of the seat stuff. Stripes in it. Could really just end it here. Kill any chances. Green one. And they do. Absolutely taunting him. He could have been able to do it. Just lays it back a bit of a tighter angle. And it makes it a better goal. 5-3. And it looks like the Stripes will be taking home. Again, home team. Won by quite a... It was quite a close game. But I guess two goals is maybe a little bit more of a comfortable margin. And there we go, three goals in the referee's whistle, five goals for stripes, three for greens, and they will be taking it. So we, we beat Sunderland in the sim, we got we came dead last, and then we just saw this play out. Just 22 of the exact same players battling out on um, the pitch in FIFA 21. So if you enjoyed that, um, let me know. I, I could do this with another player. Um, cheers for sitting through this just sheer stupidity for however long you did. Um, and yeah, cheers for watching. See you in the next one.